Let's get you the updates from the state of Karnataka with the Congress-led Siddharamaya Sarkara, which has now withdrawn its general consent for a Central Bureau of Investigation to investigate the cases in the state. The announcement that was made after the state cabinet meeting with the state ministers defending the decision and alleging that the CBI was functioning with a motivated and a biased manner. Earlier, the state that had withdrawn the consent to the CBI with respect to a probe in D.K. Shivkumar's case, now with the state withdrawing general consent, the CBI will have to first seek the state government's permission to probe every case in the state. The general consent for the CBI probe to take over investigations that has been there since 2005 in Karnataka and the state which has now joined their opposition rule states like Tamil Nadu and Karnataka which has already withdrawn general consent to the CBI in the past. No, it is not only Karnataka, it is the entire uh, opposition parties in the entire country has taken this decision. In the view of that, uh, uh, Karnataka government also has taken. Why, sir? We don't want the CBI to misuse its power, so we have taken this call. It is a good decision. Why, sir? Yeah. It is, it is the power best with the state government. When the, when the state government comes to know that they are misusing the, their power, then it is inevitable. Well, let's talk about the opposition BJP because this decision to withdraw general consent comes as Chief Minister Siddharamaya feels legal heat in the Muda case. The BJP which has hit out at the Congress government in the state saying that after the High Court upheld the governors not to prosecute the Chief Minister, he is now scared of arrest by the CBI and therefore has taken this decision to withdraw general consent to the CBI to probe. After the Muda scandal was exposed, Siddharamaya is frustrated and panicked. He is uh, registering many cases against the BJP leaders as an act of vengeance. Several years old cases have been uh, uh, taken out and the FIRs are being filed. Now he is also fearing the CBA which could even put him behind the bar. To avoid investigation and going to the jail, he is engineering all such tactics. कि उनकी बच्ची कुछ ही स्टेट भी यहां से जाएगी और इसके परिणाम स्वरूप पूरे देश में उनका और सफाया हो जाएगा well, reactions coming from the BJP, which has been building up pressure on the chief minister to resign, to step down, and has been holding protests in different parts of the state, including that of outside the chief minister's residence and the Vedan Soda. But the chief minister has made it clear that he will not leave his post. He has reiterated the same yesterday. <laughs> Kumar <laughs> Well, Deepak is joining us live right now. Deepak, good morning. We've seen the protests happening on part of the BJP demanding for a resignation of the chief minister. The chief minister says no. Meanwhile, as far as the general consent to the CBI is concerned, it has now been withdrawn by the state. Well, so much drama that has happened over the last few days. First, of course, it was the High Court verdict that allowed for the investigation or rather said that the investigation is necessary in this matter. Uh, also said that the governor, of course, can take this decision. Then came, of course, the lower court's order, uh, which uh, instructed that an investigation should be uh, initiated and FR should be registered and uh, eventually, of course, the matter should be probed. Uh, we've seen uh, the complainants go, knock the doors of the Lokayukta uh, in Mysuru, say that the FR should be registered as soon as possible. We're expecting some development in uh, in that regard today there could be an fir that was registered now at the back of all of this there has been of course a demand from the bjp that the cbi should be the agency that should
investigate this because uh, right now, if it is a state police that is investigating, which reports to the Congress government, to the Chief Minister, it would definitely not be a fair probe. And then you have the activists as well echoing the same sentiment. At the back of all of this, yesterday a cabinet meeting being held uh, where, uh, you know, the cabinet has now gone on to decide that they will withdraw the general consent that was given in the year 2005 to the CBI to investigate cases from the state of Karnataka. Now they will not be able to do it. Uh, they, the, the, the cabinet ministers, uh, the Congress party says, well, this is nothing to do with Muda. Uh, this is because, you know, the CBI has been used as a tool to target opposition parties, op opposition leaders across the country, and that's the reason this has been withdrawn. But the timing definitely raises a lot of questions, and that's exactly what the BJP is saying, that the Congress is now in a state of panic. Now, it remains to be seen in the next uh, coming days how this as well is taken up uh, by the opposition parties like the BJP and the JDS here in Karnataka. As far as the Chief Minister is concerned, he is making it very clear. He's saying that cases were registered against the Prime Minister himself. Did he resign? Be it Yadur he did not resign and no, there's no question of me resigning. It is just an inquiry and an investigation and he'll come out clean. This is the claim that is coming in from the Chief Minister and the Congress Party. All right. I am the future that was born a hundred years ago. I am the purpose that emerged with India's independence to be a force for business. That makes doing good our business. Towards an independence where knowledge sets us free. To think big and achieve bigger towards a future made perfect and be a force creating abundance because independence is not a moment in history it's a never-ending path to prosperity Aditya Birla Group a force for good